Field Guide to Liminal Space is an upcoming third-party Lancer homebrew supplement made by Cybom, Vox, and Akirio that's set in, technically everywhere. The Lancer universe has always been about changes, changes brought by toppling tyrants and regimes, changes brought by making the world a better place, changes brought by confronting humanity's past and facing it, even Union, as titanic as it is, slowly yet greatly changed as millennia or even centuries passed by. But these changes don't happen immediately, a revolution could change a world, but it would take years or decades of effort by the people, a developing colony could strive or fall apart, but nobody would be able to tell until it happens, like sunrise and sunset, or the busy streets that become quiet at night, you won't notice something has been changing, even though it happens right before your eyes. These, are the liminal spaces, the in-between, and Field Guide to Liminal Space wants to put a focus on that, dealing with stories about places or locations in transition to another state, it's not about mighty struggles between nations or world-rending horror, rather, it is about the people here in front of you, the now. The field guide will contain a GM guide that further explains the liminal theme and helps you make stories of your own that follow the theme, like a long rim campaign where, after the completion of the blink gates, will soon suffer a humanitarian crisis due to the lack of traffic. Or you can make a campaign about the new Agartha station, one of the largest blink station in Union's history that houses 50 million souls, built by the magnum opus Interstellar. It's also, one of the first blink stations ever built, served as a test bed for many, many, experimentation and improvement of blink technology that served as the foundation for practically all the blink gates out there. Which is why you should ask, why was the station attacked by highly advanced attackers in a district that essentially holds no value, why was the attackers wearing the symbols of an armory legion that was lost traveling through the exact same station, what relationship could this incident have with the original Agartha station that was lost after being sucked into a black hole materialized by a paracausal being? Why does the location the attack was launched at mirror that of a place in the original Agartha station that housed a top secret lab, and why does the access code to the lab, still works? You know what else Lancer is about, Mex, and this homebrew supplement has so many of it, it's actually kinda outrageous, when the book is completed, about 100 pages of it is gonna be just Mex and that's because it features three whole companies. The Downfall Group was a subsidiary company of interplanetary shipping Northstar that originally conducted economic research to identify vulnerable opponents for targeted buyouts and undercuts by IPSN. Now, it still does kinda the same thing, but disillusioned from the havoc IPSN and other core pro states have done to Union space, the Downfall Group realized they have a wealth of data that when used right, could really hurt the core pro states. So, they tweaked number here and there to hurt the core pro states more, through pattern group mechs of their own to some freedom fighters and ethical pirates around, and now this web of secrecy has spread to more places than other people would realize. Sooner or later, Northstar is gonna figure it out, but right now, nobody really knows they exist, yet. Their mechs include Acedia, a mech that gives so less of a fuck on the world that it does not care about its conditions nor distance to anything, Sloth, a mech so slow, it literally warps space around it from its sheer slowness, and Wrath, a mech made for when things go loud, by deafening everyone with screams and gunfire. We call this a difficulty tweak! Magnum Opus Interstellar is one of the oldest Blinkgate manufacturing company, actively working with Union to bring out the next advancement of Blink technology, this allows them to stay independent despite the company's rather small size. The work they do with Blinkgate also meant that they have a slightly closer relationship to Volidori than most members of Union, trading survey data with a mysterious trader to carefully tailor plans for future blink gate construction, and even having Volidori inspired technology that the company absolutely insists that they did not steal from unlike a certain other core pro states, which considering the Volidori is still trading with them, suggests they aren't lying about it. The company also has a piece of history they absolutely do not want to share why do you think they have mechs hey look mechs their mechs include Houdini, a mech that can pull a party trick by hiding anything in its hat and outside of it, Amakusa, a mech that protects by cutting down those that dare to harm its charge, and Nemu, a mech that cuts, even the very concept of distance itself. Marley, Ounce and Silver is a lending service that's officially way over its head. Started with the goal of getting debtors out of situations they could not escape on their own, the company converts the debt into an actually payable structure at the advice of their consultants, as while desperate people are desperate for help, many would be rightfully wary of charity, a fair deal is easier to persuade people with, and it also keeps the light on as the company is burning money as fast as it can earn. Are you tired of your mech crapping out and needing to reprint the whole damn thing again? Get Marley, Ounce and Silver mech, and you can fix it with just duct tape, hammer, 
and profanities, their products include Frankenstein, an ugly as sin mech that just work and cannot die without bringing someone down, Holiday, an actual honest to god cowboy or cowgirl mech, and Rasputin, which is, just look at it. Egg. There's also like some 18 goddamn homebrew NPC classes, two of which are elite exclusive because they are, to say the least, a bit insane, and two new NPC templates, first is the partisan, four armed civilians or local defense force that knows their terrain better than you ever will and they will do anything to not lose their home, second is the security, which is just for assholes with guns. And that's everything you need to know on Field Guide to Liminal Space, a Lancer homebrew supplement that's actually on Kickstarter right now, still is, I think, by the time this video comes up it's probably about to end, so it's like, a last minute call out. Also, there's stretch goals, this is on Kickstarter after all, so there could be some additional things in the final version of the book that I didn't mention in this video. If you want to take a peek at the field guide, you can actually read its current version which is available on Tumblr, it's in pieces, but that probably makes it easier to read in its current forms. When the homebrew supplement is finally out, I will be including the link to the book properly down there in the description so you guys could just go get the wonderful book yourself, and I'm definitely getting one copy myself. Anyway that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.